Welcome to this installment with the Society for Participatory Medicine uh, newsletter. This is John Hoban. I'm fortunate to have uh, Amy Gleason with me today. Uh, Amy informed me that she's been with the Society for four years, uh, four years or almost four times that I've been. And uh, Amy, what what's the one thing you'd like to see from the Society going forward, and what's the one thing you'd like to give back to the Society? Thank you. So I think the one thing I would really like to see the society do is kind of come up with some common um, objectives that we could all work towards together. It sometimes feels a little bit disjointed, like a, a lot of different people kind of going after similar things, but not channeling everybody's energy into one specific or, you know, a few specific goals. So I think, you know, just kind of some agreement on what those goals are and then actually marching towards real objectives and measuring our output would be really helpful. Um, and I'd like to contribute, obviously, to what those are and then to accomplishing them as well. And what do you think that one uh, one thing would be, kind of like uh, Curly from the movie City Slickers? What's the one thing? Um, so I guess I really think there's two main things. If I, if I got to just decide on the agenda, I think one is educating patients and sharing stories of success. So I don't think a lot of people really understand what participatory medicine means. I um, think they really get it until they get into a situation where they're required to deal with the health system. So I think personal stories and explaining the benefit of, you know, this could have happened, but it didn't, kind of like the e-patient Dave story, um, I think can be really educational and motivational. And maybe it doesn't inspire people today to do things, but when something happens with their family, they'll have that story in the back of their head and can use that information. And then the second thing I think would be to try to get together with some of the technologies. There's so many different solutions out there that are being created from EMRs to HIEs to PHRs to all these things. And there's a new app every day or multiple new apps every day. And it's hard, you know, to figure out how all those can work together and um, which, when to use which thing. And so I think the society could really play a role in helping them play together and kind of sharing the broader story of these things can help you be a participatory patient. Awesome. Thank you, Amy. And uh, we're going to uh, stick around with Amy and dig into a little uh, longer and uh, detail. But uh, Amy, if there's anybody that wants to reach you, what's the best way to reach out and get in touch with you directly? Um, so I'm on Twitter at the patient side. And uh, my email is amy.gleason, G L E A S O N, at caresync, C A R E S Y N C dot com. Excellent. Thanks, Amy. We'll uh, dig into a little longer interview. This is uh, John Hoban. Uh, please join us for uh, a little more detail with Amy Gleason. <laughs> 